Hello guys, welcome to Pagan Outdoors. Now today's um, video is going to be just a short one. I've come out into the woods just to chill for an hour or so. Um, not uh, it's all very long, um, but I've just come out and I'll make a, a coffee in a minute and just relax while uh, we've got the sunshine out. Um, I've got the brew going on down there. It's me, I bought me Haversack um, bag out, which is behind me. Let's get behind me there. So I've got the uh, little mess, little mess stove with me Pathfinder cup, little windshield and stuff. So I'm going to be making a, a coffee with that in a minute. And as you can see behind me, got all this lovely woodlands to myself and the other way there we go absolutely stunning day out really is so a couple of um, pheasants about so I've not seen any uh, any deer yet so we'll see what happens there but um yeah it's really nice to be out so it's only a only a short um sort of two hour three hour sort of max type of session so no hammer cup so just me and me uh, little chair just sort of chilling in the sun really um overly cold but well wrapped up so that's not an issue but it is special uh, in this the woods so this is sort of one half of the uh, woodlands I go to a lot so this is all sort of pine plantation but then you have on sort of the other side is all the um, deciduous woods all these sort of the oaks sort of silver birches you've got chestnuts um, what you got there? You got beech. Uh, there's a couple of varieties I'm not overly sure on, but yeah, no, it's a beautiful woodland over here. And kind of the day like today, the wind's dropped. There's no no rain, clear blue skies. So why not just come out and chill, relax unwind and just sort of soak in what this woodland's all about so even with it being what the 9th no 10th of December I think it is um, still a few leaves on the trees which is uh, which is weird but it is what it is nowadays um, but some people say in the in the winter time the trees look bare and dead. Now I disagree. I think in the winter time, I mean autumn is, is something special. In the winter time, I suppose if it's dark and gloomy and rainy and windy, I can see why some people may think that. But I think the trees take on a a different a life of their own they're all sort of sentient beings but they're all even with their and they shed all their leaves the trees have a, a lovely um, structure to them depending on the type of tree you get to see through all the foliage and you get to see all, all the, the way nature is set brilliant uh, different types of trees growing next to each other sort of a symbiotic um, relationship and I just think it's um, magical so bleak and bare and dead no these are truly uh, all trees are truly special they all have their own personality just like people do. Uh, they're all alive. Well, 
you see lots of dead standing but they all you can see how they're all grown up next to each other some have won the battle to get to the top first before the others so it's all for pecking order as there is in the human world as there is in the in the forests but even in winter there's so much to look at and admire I think if people sort of get to see get to see that then I think they'll get to see how special the trees are as well so uh, I'm going to concentrate on this and get this water done and I shall bring you back in a moment hey guys just bringing you back I thought I'd uh, sort of give you a view of what I'm sort of sitting back in my chair watching at the moment Got about another sort of two and a half, two and a half hours of sunlight possibly. But look at that! Sort of the sun shining through the trees there, just reflecting off the all the brush, all the ferns, all the straggly brambles. But, as I said earlier, it's definitely not dead and bare at all. Now, no pines this is, um, hold on to the needles a lot on that, but even the ones that haven't, they're all different, they're all unique. As I said earlier, so it's truly. You can hear some cars in the distance because it's like the A46, but still hear the birds chirping away. It's simply stunning. Being here, watching just nature, mindfulness, if you will, sitting there, listening to nature. Just simply being. and ask for something better really well I don't think so anyway after the last few sort of stormy um, weekends and or weeks even that we've had come out on a day like today is uh, something else I think but I hope you enjoyed that little look see at what I'm looking at. So I have my full mug of um, coffee in the old Pathfinder. Now for you coffee aficionados out there, I do apologise when I say coffee. This is merely a Nescafe 3-in-1 uh, caramel flavour. So there's no sort of presses and especially ground beans I'm afraid um, to be fair I'm more of a um, tea drinker but being out here three in one coffees come in very handy and I can store them in pouches and all my bags and um, always come down in for a good quick brew you can't beat them so but yeah it's This is sort of what coming out, being out here, relaxes the mind with what's all going on at the moment and with uh, holiday seasons approaching and, and that, to get away from all that and just sit here, 
sub and a drink, eating a chockey bar, just soaking it all in, being able to just being able to just be here and there is a bit of breeze so you can see in the treetops sort of gentle waving back and forth I can see from the recent storms some of the trees sort of bending over possibly one or two probably will fall if there's another storm but always resources to be had and something to be done with them so um, try as much as I can not to sort of take anything always trying to use what has fallen if it's strong enough or recently fallen depending on what I want to do with it but I really don't like cutting stuff that's still upright especially if it's alive uh, it's so beautiful out here. Mindfulness, ecotherapy, um, especially with uh, if you're struggling with life at the moment, coming out, even if it's only for an hour. Come out for a walk with dog or sort of grab a take a little flask with you and just go for a walk and find a little log to sit on and just take five cup of tea out of the flask change the scenery appreciate where we, we've come from where we where we should be rather than stuck in concrete jungles and tarmac and and such so because at some point this could all go with all the corporations and the councils and the governments and that but a click of the finger um, but yeah it's while it's here, we need to appreciate it and try and protect it as best we can. So, sort of protect it with every fibre of our being because once it's lost, it's lost. So, the more people stand together and protect our green spaces, our woodland forests. even sort of along the cycle tracks all the hedgerows and because even the hedgerows are such a vast array of insects animals birds all sort of manner of different wild edibles and everything that sort of grows in hedgerows Truly are a, a wonderful thing. Get people passing by as if they're like a, a fence. Now I've used in the olden days as fences for farmers and such, but they are so much more than just a, a barrier to stop animals getting out or getting in. This is what we need to encourage others each other is that we need all this without this we've lost we'll be we'll be no more so we need to look after what we've got so I suspect this video may be a bit of a, a waffle so I do apologize for that but I just thought while well, I had a cup of coffee in my hand I just Put a few thoughts out there and um, see if anyone uh, sort of 
agrees with me or disagrees or I mean what are your thoughts put down in the comments below what are your thoughts on what I've sort of been going on about do you agree do you is there other things you think are more important than what I've said or um, but yeah put in the comments below let's get a conversation going seeing what um, what people think out there so I'll be interested to know it'd be cool so that's how I'm going to sit in our sip me coffee and just I just chill and I might have a mooch later on have a bit of a walk around depending on how my legs are so we shall see but if I don't um, do any more filming I shall say thank you very much for watching if you want to like and subscribe that'd be cool um, I'm not in it for the, the sub numbers I just um, been encouraged by friends and family to sort of do these sort of videos to pass on experience that I have as more videos going forward will um, I have a lot of videos planned so hopefully that will um, people will enjoy them but it's like um, sort of being out here and if I can help a few people with some of the, the bits I know then brilliant happy days so uh, love and light and if I don't see you again, I shall see you on the next video.